As a continuation of uh, turning the pop-up piston for the saw, the next next task uh, at hand is to uh, trim the base of the cylinder down here so that the uh, squish can be uh, lowered to uh, 20 thousandths of an inch. Uh, to do that we've taken the original squish height and that was measured at 0 0.043 inches. The base gasket thickness which is 0.017 inches, the height of the pop-up, which is 0.030 inches, and we will use those to calculate how much of the material needs to be used uh, to re be removed from the base to bring it down to 20,000 squish. Uh, also, we've measured carefully the ear of the uh, cylinder, and we've come up with 0.0 0.311 inches and we've marked that on the cylinder. <clears throat> Doing the calculations we come up with uh, needing to remove 36 thousandths of an inch off of the base of the cylinder bringing it to 0.275 inches. To hold the cylinder on the lathe the cylinder is mounted on a mandrel the mandrel diameter is about a thousandth of an inch smaller than the bore diameter, so it holds it fairly securely from moving. The top of the mandrel is also cut flush so that it indexes against the head of the cylinder and keeping it square the base to the head of the cylinder. Once the cylinder is placed on the mandrel, A uh, live center is brought in to the top of the cylinder. It's holding the cylinder securely against the mandrel. Again, the base can be checked for square uh, for being square with a dial indicator, but I'm fairly confident that this is uh, square tool set up so that it's coming in and cutting from the back of the, uh, the cylinder. And we're going to cut the base area and we're also going to cut down this flange extension of the bore because this can interfere with the case as we drop the cylinder lower in the case, removing the uh, gasket and cutting material away. With the cylinder secured on the mandrel, we want to just double check the measurement on our thickness of our base. We're good. And we want to ensure that all the fake cooling fins and miscellaneous parts on the cylinder are going to clear all our table on our lathe and our chuck. And the lathe is then set to a relatively low speed, about 150 RPM. Just making a first pass. I'm just making a second pass, removing about ten thousandths of an inch each pass. Just finishing up the last pass with the automatic feed. The base is finished out nicely to uh, 2 .275 inches and lastly we're going to trim 50 thousandths off of the flange. Quite often that gets missed and that rides up against uh, part of the base and holding the cylinder away from the base of the engine and causing an air leak or else the ears to break off the cylinder. Machine work is now finished on the base. We will have to grind with a grinding stone the edge of the bore as the plating is left rather sharp. Grinding a bevel in this area will make it easier to pass the rings up into the cylinder reassembling the engine.